From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Naira Ahmed. A phased shutdown of the networks at Canadian Pacific Kansas City and Canadian National Railway is already underway as the clock ticks down on negotiations between both companies and the union. Over 32,000 rail commuters across the country could be impacted if dispatchers and thousands of other workers walk off the job overnight. Transit authorities say select commuter lines that run on CPKC tracks in Toronto, Montreal and Vancouver would be suspended if the work stoppage goes ahead. Statistics Canada says the annual inflation rate fell to 2.5% last month, down from 2.7% in June, as price pressures across the economy continue to fade. The federal agency says lower prices for travel tours, passenger vehicles and electricity helped to drive the headline figure down. And while shelter costs continue to be the main driver of inflation, price growth slowed last month to 5.7% year over year. July also marked the slowest annual increase in the consumer price index since March of 2021. Forecasters are widely expecting the Bank of Canada to continue cutting interest rates at back-to-back meetings with its next interest rate announcement expected September 4th. Lisa Laporte, The Canadian Press. Manitoba chiefs are calling for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to rescind veteran broadcaster Charles Adler's appointment to Senate due to past comments made towards Indigenous peoples. The Assembly of Manitoba First Nations says Adler called Indigenous leaders multiple names, including, quote, uncivilized boneheads and intellectually moribund on a radio show in Winnipeg in 1999. On Trudeau's advice, Adler was appointed to the Senate on Saturday to represent Manitoba. Adler says on social media that being criticized is nothing new for him, and he expects the same while serving in the Senate. The chief executive of Skip the Dishes says hundreds of Canadian employees are being laid off by the food delivery service and its parent company. Paul Burns says 100 Canada-based workers will depart Skip the Dishes. Some 700 staff also in Canada who work for its Dutch owner JustEatTakeaway.com will also lose their jobs. Burns says the cuts were the result of a comprehensive review and restructure. Skip the Dishes was founded in Winnipeg in 2012 and acquired in 2016 by Just Eat, which merged with Takeaway.com in 2020. Emily Joveski, The Canadian Press. And a new study shows 60% of people in the country have seen deepfakes, digitally manipulated images or videos depicting scenes that have not happened. Researcher Sam Andrew from Toronto Metropolitan University. Video and imagery generated by AI is, I think, making people doubt their information ecosystem even more than they used to. The most common deepfakes involve images or videos of celebrities, followed closely by those related to politics. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, Toronto Argonauts quarterback Chad Kelly formally apologized today after serving a suspension for violating the CFL's gender-based violence policy. You know, I'm, I'm sorry for my actions. I'm sorry for what I did. Um, you know, I affected a lot of people. The CFL announced on Sunday that Kelly is cleared to return to the league with conditions and is set to start the game on Thursday. Kelly was suspended by the league in May for a total of 11 games after an investigation into a lawsuit filed by a former strength and conditioning coach against Kelly and the Argonauts. Meanwhile, Saskatchewan Rough Riders quarterback Trevor Harris was among the headliners of the CFL's honor roll for Week 11. In the MLB, the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cincinnati Reds continue a three-game series today at the Rogers Centre. And the Canadian men's soccer team will play a friendly match against Panama at Toronto's BMO Field on October 15th. The Canadians are coming off an impressive fourth-place finish at the 2024 Copa America. From the Canadian Press, I'm Naira Ahmed. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the canadianpressnews.ca.